How do you think the teams kind of, you know, put the Sunflower Showdown behind them? Um, it's hard to tell so far. We haven't really been around uh, the team for the majority of the day, but got into our workout this morning, got our lift done, um, guys handling their business. So uh, hard to say this early in the week, but um, I, I know how we've been in the past, and I'm sure we'll do a good job with it. One thing we've seen um, you guys go against the last couple of weeks is defenses that are really, really trying to take away DJ Giddens. Um, how do you think you guys have responded to that? I think it starts with just the play caller, um, Coach Riles, and knowing what the, the defense is going to do and how we can you know counter that. Uh, receivers have stepped up big. Offensive line's done a good job in pass protection. So it's finding different ways to you know DJ get touches because of how talented he is with the ball in his hands. Um, so incorporating him in the pass game a little bit, but ultimately, you know, just trying to take what the defense gives us. What do you think is the best part of this offense right now? Where would you like to see it make some strides? Um, just the, I feel like the best thing is just the balance mm -hmm. we've had the, the past few weeks and how we've been able to, you know, like uh, we were saying, is if they take DJ away, being able to go through the air, um, if, if teams will decide to take away the pass game, give them the ball to DJ and, I think it's just our versatility of being able to, you know, counter whatever the defense gives us, um, and just continue to to not skip beats there. Where does that one and zero mentality come from, Avery? And how closely have you all followed it? And uh, how has it really benefited you guys, especially in this last four games? Yeah, it starts with Coach Kleiman, and then it's reiterated throughout the whole building. Um, Coach True says it in all of our lifts and. It's really just focusing on the next game because that's the one that's the most important and, and being where your feet are at and not looking too far down the road. Avery, this four-game cycle that you're in right now, ending with Houston between the bye weeks, uh, obviously looking at it at the start of the schedule, three out of four on the road was a challenge. How's the team weathered that storm? Um, just being able to you know, find little things as far as scheduling, how can we get extra sleep, how can we get extra recovery? Uh, whenever we do have travel, how can we get our bodies woke up? And when we, whenever we travel back, just being able to, to bounce back from things like that, especially having those night games. And our, you know, our support staff has done a really good job of um, getting us the right schedule to where uh, we're, we're able to go out and, and play at, at kickoff and be ready to, to take on our opponent. And then guys just stepping up, preparing during the week, um, knowing that every game just in, just as important as the last, and just continuing to, to try to dominate on Saturdays. Avery, I notice this game's going to be played on your birthday, on on uh, on the second. A couple of things: one, have you ever played a big game on your birthday? Two, what's the best birthday birthday gift you've ever received? Um, I don't know. I I, f I feel like I played on my birthday, um, but nothing that I can remember off the top of my head. I know I played on my birthday before. And then, best birthday gift. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. My parents always, it's just kind of whatever I um, was kind of feeling that year. I can't even think of anything off the top of my head, though. Sorry about that. Anyone else? Go ahead, Tony. I know you want to put the Sunflower Showdown behind you, but how special was that moment for you as a Kansas kid and the rest of the team? I think just being able to get that win for not a, not only everybody in this building, but all the fans that support us, and being able to you know hold it hold it down on our home territory and, and keep the streak alive definitely means a lot. Um, and obviously, those guys were were hungry and ready to play, and um, we knew what it was going to be. We knew it was going to be a battle till the end. And it was just a really good one to have because um, every game matters, especially in conference play. Avery, uh, you've done a really good job over the last few weeks of, I guess, recovering from the turnovers and recovering from the bad plays that might happen for the offense. What's your mindset like, I guess, after those plays? And, and has it changed from week one to now? Um, I feel like the biggest thing is just you got to have that next play mentality. and. Uh, Everybody's eyes are always on me, no matter what. And you know, people, uh, whether I like it or not, just with the position I'm in, people feed off my energy. So never, or always trying to never have negative energy 
um, keep my head up high because, you know, adversity is going to strike. Bad things are going to happen. I'm going to turn the ball over. Um, things are going to not go our way. Um, the biggest thing is how can I learn from it and how can I respond to those things and just continue to, to try to uh, not get, get it all back in one play on the next play, take what the defense gives me, and um, just be confident in myself and my play so that uh, I can help out the team in the best of my ability. Let's go two more, Kellis and then Arnie. Will, did you and uh, uh, Will Ancio ever play football together, or was it just basketball? No, we played basketball together growing up and then played one game together. Um, it was like an end-of-the-season game, football game together. But we always played against each other growing up. I'm just curious, you guys seem like you have a pretty strong connection on the football field. Did any of that past, um, past time you spent with them, has that helped you this season? I think it's just uh, like just becoming more comfortable with them um, throughout practice and um, just you know building that chemistry to where you know I can trust them, I can put the ball up for them, and um, just just growing in that way. And dude, he, I mean the dude works hard. Um, he's always in the right spot, and I mean, he's always open. So I don't mind I don't mind throwing the ball to open receiver. Last one, Arnie. Yeah, you uh, you talked about things you do to to not let mistakes get you down. But also, you've limited those mistakes, it seems like, the last few weeks as a whole team. Has there been anything in particular that you've learned or you've done different? Or is it just a matter of those things kind of go in streaks? Yeah, I mean, some some are decision things. And another thing is just the cost of doing business. So. Um, there's a there's a, a little like happy medium there. I feel like we've done a really good job of taking care of the ball these this past few weeks, um, in comparison to the the weeks prior. But ultimately, it's just I think just becoming more confident or comfortable and confident um, in what we're doing, and then preparing throughout the week to to know what what I might expect. Um, preparing for a whole bunch of different looks so that I'm not surprised or caught off guard by anything.